All right, guys, uh, front piece is coming together. We're just going to attach the uh, stock windscreen here. It's been so long since I've even had a windscreen, man. It's, uh, to be honest, I miss it. The whole naked thing, it, there's a lot more wind that hits you. Um, it actually almost pulls you off the bike at higher speeds. Okay, coming around to the right side. It's good to have uh, be able to use both hands. With oh this yeah! Bike. Holy crap! Can't use your right hand for this one. Can't use your left one for that <laughs> one. Jeez. Yeah. You don't want to put these too tight. No, like the heads are very fragile on these guys. Don't strip them when you put them in. They're um, it's just plastic. They're super soft. It's my understanding that they're designed to shear off in the event of an accident, which um, is exactly what happened when uh, I crashed the bike. The whole windscreen sheared right off, bolts, everything. They just, uh, just, it just disappeared essentially. Okay. All right, there we go, guys. Front end is um, nearly complete. We just got to do the intake vents. Right and left. Which one we can't. And uh, and the fairings. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. Kind of like everything else, you gotta line everything up and then push or slide back. bit of a tight fit so you might have to just kind of squeeze and make sure everything lines up in the front make sure it's all clipped in here along the side and there's a little spot here that you'll see the hole lines up and clips in as well but uh, yeah it looks good looks pretty secure so let's bolt it in This was that weak side that I repaired the cracking guy, so it's uh, it's pretty strong. Okay, so there we go, that side's in. Alright, good morning guys. So I've got my uh, intake vent in here on the right hand side. Got to start popping some fairings back on. Right top three are in. Let's go for these big guys. And you're not 
threading in Y. Oh my god. I hate, I hate putting fairings on so much. Bottom one threading in, no problem here. Even the bottom one in the stay brackets threading in. Okay. So the only real tricky one is this one for whatever reason. Oh, there we go. I think it's going now. All right. Here you go, guys. Uh, right side fairing is on. Everything's clipped in in the front. Everything looks tight. Clip my signal light in before anything else here. All right, signal lights in. So this this side of the bike is actually done. I don't need to take anything off this side side ever again. It is complete. Other side. All right, guys. So here's a new, um, I guess, the left intake vent. Um, the The original one was broken in the crash. It is uh, it is hydro dip with uh, like a carbon. So I had to take the one off the salvage bike, and we're gonna put it on this guy. Just one little screw in the front there for the vent. And hopefully everything locks in place. I have not even tested this on the bike. Okay, so we're in on the nose. Nose is clipped in. It's clipped in here on the side. Everything's tight up here. So, uh, yeah, so we're good to go. Gonna put the screw back in. All right, so we have a, another a, a left intake vent again, and uh, let's grab the fairing. Okay, so this fairing is the original fairing from the bike. Um, this is the one that was on the bike when it went down in the crash. Um, I have had the dealer put a new sticker on it. Um, they're about $140 for the stickers, guys, in uh, Canada. So you can probably buy cheaper ones, but they probably do not match. The color just probably won't match. Um, so yeah, I had the dealer put it on. It's about $200 in Canada. If it was a $20 sticker, I would have done it myself. But because it's so expensive, I didn't really want to mess it up. So I had them do it. Peace of mind. It's done. It's over with. So let's get her on the bike. We'll start here in the front and kind of work our way back, I guess. Okay, there we go. You want to make sure it's clipped in here around your vent. Let's try to get a fairing bolt in here just to hold it. Okay, there we go. Just to hold it in place.
There we go. Top bolts are in. Let's start down here. And uh, there we go, guys. Uh, fairy's back on the bike. Let's not forget to plug in our signal light here. There we go. We'll just tuck this back up in the fairing. I don't even have to tie wrap it. There's room down here to fit in inside your fairings all right guys check it out full front all together hopefully you can see the carbon the lights probably not very good Probably not going to be able to see the carbon too well. So there we go. Right and left fairings are on. One more little thing to do here. I just need to get a tie wrap. that's the right way this will just hold it for now I just don't have the pop pin so we'll just strap a tie wrap in there Okay, there we go guys, fairings are assembled. Uh, last piece is the, uh, I guess the bottom piece. I guess you call it uh, the guard, or the exhaust guard, or header guard, whatever you want to call it. So, All right guys, I'm back. I won't spare you the freaking painful adventure it is to get these four bolts lined up on this bike. If you've taken this off before, I'm sure you know. For whatever reason, you'll get three that line up. The fourth one won't. You gotta take it off again. Try it again. Repeat, repeat, repeat. I've been trying this for about an hour to get these four bolts in. I think now I finally have them in place where they're gonna lock in. But man, are they ever a pain in the ass. Okay, I'm just gonna go around to the other side here. So there we go guys, uh, this is the original piece I had on my bike, I had it dipped before. Um, it did take a little chip down in the bottom in the crash, but uh, yeah, overall it's not bad, it survived pretty good. So I'm just going to put it back on the bike, I'm going to reuse it. Alright guys, that is all the fairings. 
Um, wow, it's been a long time since I've had all the fairings on the bike. Right side. My vents, carbon dip vents. New nose cowl off the salvage bike. New vent off the salvage bike, but I've had it re-dipped. Uh, left side fairing. So, everything's in, guys. Um, there's a couple more adjustments that I'm going to make on the bike. We still have to deal with... I still have to deal with some of the back fairings that are cracked. Right here, right here. And you can see right here. And right here. So we have to deal with the back fairings still. I still have to deal with... Um, the crack in the front fairing or the front fender. Hopefully, you can see it. Man, I hate that bottom piece. It sucks. All right, guys, stay tuned. We're going to get on to the next thing. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video there. Uh, so, yeah, the, all the fairings are together on the FZ6R. Um, there's a couple small issues we're still going to deal with, a couple of things we still have to replace on the bike. So there's still a couple episodes to come. And uh, anyways, for everyone in Canada, happy long weekend, happy Thanksgiving. Um, go grab a beer, go slam back some turkey, and take a nap on the couch. Like, subscribe, we'll see you next time.